What's up guys? Welcome to part two of my Tremonti full discography review. Uh, I just finished reviewing All I Was, now I'm moving on to Cauterize here. Um, Cauterize is their second album, part one out of the uh, double album that was recorded, and um, part part two is Dust. But um, this is uh, this is of course their second album, and it's it came out in June of 2015, so uh, almost exactly three years ago actually, believe it or not. And it's, uh, in my opinion, this is their best album. I know uh, a lot of people believe, I've seen a lot of people who say Dust is better. Most people, I think, say Dust is better. Personally, I like Cauterize better just because I, I really like when Tremonti sort of goes on the bit, uh, the moodier side, which uh, he really does on this album, which, uh, and, uh, yeah, as you'll come to find out, it works out really well, in my opinion, at least. Track one is called Radical Change. Immediately, this kicks off the album on a really high note. Um, this is definitely, if you're, if this is your first listen to Tremonti after all I was, like, uh, sort of like me when this album first came out, you would think like this is immediately Tremonti's heaviest song to date. It's really thrashy. The drums on this song are phenomenal, phenomenal. It's, it's so, so thrashy, so heavy packs tons of just raw aggressiveness, raw power, and it's immediately a huge step up from the drum work on All I Was, which even on All I Was, the drums were really great, and um, this is just totally a step up from that, which is like, it just, it the, I cannot describe to you how much I love the drums on this song, and it honestly, on this album, the drum parts on this album are awesome, really great, but um, yeah, this it, it starts off really fast, really speedy, and then uh, you get into the chorus, slows things down a bit, bringing back that sort of uh, a good cop, bad cop sound where uh, it's got the the more aggressive verses and intro and a more melodic chorus. Um, that, uh, oh, yeah, that happens for a bit. And then you get into the bridge, which is a bit darker. Um, it's got a it's got a pretty cool solo in there. And then uh, you got the chorus again, and then you get... Um, at the outro, there's another solo for the outro, and that might be my favorite solo on the whole album. I love, I really like when you got that chorus melody, and then the guitar sort of comes back, and then the guitar sort of like you know sings the chorus melody, and uh, that's that. This is a solo that does that. I just think it works really well. It's it's one of my favorite solos on the whole album, so that's pretty cool. Then you get into Flying Monkeys, Flying Monkeys track two on here. It's um it kicks in. It's immediately one of the uh, one of the more slower songs on here. Um, it's still it's it's all it's 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 a heavy song. It's really thrashy, really riffy, but at the same time, tempo wise, it's a, it's a bit slower. So um, I know that's that may turn some people off, but at the same time, I just the, it, the song is just so hooky. the The main riff on the song is just so so hooky. It's really catchy, one of the catchiest moments on this whole album, and um, it's got it's it's got that the whole throughout the whole song, it's like that. It, overall, it just got this super dark, sludgy, ominous vibe through the whole song, which I really like. It's something new that we haven't heard from Tremonti before, and uh, I say I actually I I say the same about Radical Change. Radical Change, is something new we haven't seen Tremonti before, and this song is too. Um, immediately, that's just that's really great considering um, one of the down points of all I was was that a lot of it sounded similar, um, but with Flying Monkeys, this is a song that. It's really bringing in some some more heavy metal influences, um, as opposed to some of the as opposed to like some of the thrash metal influences. This is more like on the heavy, like classic heavy metal side of things, and it's uh, it's just really great. Tremonti's got some really dark, just like grueling vocals on this song, which I really like. Um, it gets a little emo It gets a bit on the emotional side in the bridge, which I like too. Um, it's got a really haunting solo too. I love the solo on the song also. It's on the bridge. It's a bit sort of like, it's got like the, that drowned out, um, sound quality to it, which I, which I think is really, really cool. And, um, overall the song is just so like dark and it's, it's so awesome. Not dark as in moody, but dark as in heavy, like that kind of dark, which, uh, we didn't get much of on all I was, um. Then you get into the title track, Cauterize, another one of my favorite songs on the album. Um, again, it starts off on the thrashier side, 
some great double bass work from Garrett Whitlock on the drums. Some great, uh, some great from the rhythm section in general, I should say. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, there was a lineup change here because Brian Marshall um, didn't do the bass tracks on this album. Instead, it was Wolfgang Van Halen who actually did the bass tracks on this album. And um, one thing I forgot to mention on Flying Monkeys was that the bass on that song is just really great. That's definitely one of the best bass performances on the whole album. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, then you get into Cauterize. Immediate, like I just said, immediately like one of the, a really cool rhythm section opening there. It just like takes your head clean off right away. But the, the funny thing is though, like the rest of the song, that's really the only heavy part of the whole song. The rest of the song is more emotional, more melodic. So uh, that's that's really cool. And um, again, it's something different because I feel like a lot of the other songs that we heard um, on All I Was were a bit like, sort of had that same formula as in heavy intro, heavy verse, melodic chorus, or something like that. But uh, this one, the only, it's got like heavy intro and then just like, melodic verse melodic chorus and like that intro part uh comes back a few times but um overall that's like the only heavy part of the song the rest of the song is a bit more melodic so um and and yeah i really like that then we get to arm yourself arm yourself definitely the heaviest song on the whole album it's, a, it's also one of the shortest songs on the whole album though which uh which kind of sucks because i really like this but uh it's um it sort of starts off similar to radical change it a similar drum pattern um, but at the same time, since that was something that we haven't heard before, um, it feels fresh as day. And uh, it is one thing Radical Change had that this song didn't have in the intro is that Radical Change had that a bit more of a fun vibe to it, a bit like more of an uplifting vibe in the intro. Whereas this song just immediately s starts off really dark and really like heavy as in like he like heavy and moody at the same time. I don't know how I would say that, but like. Just really, just really dark, and um, this song as a whole is just really dark. Um, it's, it just like it's it's really fast paced. It's fast paced the whole time up until you get to the bridge, and the bridge it like, it just like, it gets really really dark in the bridge. Like really just so ominous. The guitars in the bridge are awesome. The um, Mark Tremonti's vocals in the first half of it are phenomenal. And like it's just like a whirlpool of darkness in the bridge, which I just love. I think that is awesome. And then you get the solo. The solo in this song takes that a step further with um, also a little change in time signature, which I really like. And it just it brings in even more of like a haunting vibe to it, which I just love. And then you get that chorus again. And then it that thrashy that thrashy part to end the song. This is just an awesome song. It might be my favorite on the album to be honest. Then we get to Dark Trip. Dark Trip, uh, one of the more moodier songs in the album, one of the slower ones. Um, it starts off a bit uh, something Alter Bridge reminiscent, something you hear off like AB3 or something, or uh, or I could see this, I could see that opening being off Fortress. Um, but this song is just, it's another really dark song. Um, it's, the Mark Tremonti's vocals just pack so much like dark emotion in here and then um that riff that that uh that rhythm guitar riff and the chorus i really like just because it's it, it may be basic but at the same time it just packs so much darkness to it which i love and, um mark tomani's vocals in the chorus also there's they're dark still but at the same time they're uh they're a bit more on the emotional side which um that's something else i really like uh this song also has one of my favorite solos on here um it sort of has that interlude after the chorus, and then you got a really cool vocal melody after that interlude stops between Mark Tremonti and Eric Friedman, which I really like. And then you got this solo, which is, this is just another really dark song, which I love. Then we get to another heart. This is the first, this was the, uh, the first single released off the album. I think it was the only single, actually. Flying Monkeys was the second, actually. But um, another heart uh, immediately. It's uh, it's one of the more straightforward ones again. Um, this is really the first song that we've gotten like this so far on this album. Um, we had a lot of it on All I Was, which uh, kind of turned me off a little bit. Um, luckily, Tremonti pulls it off well, and uh, it didn't really hinder the album too much for me. But another heart. Uh, this is really the first like more straightforward one that we've gotten so far. Um, 
similar to Cauterize, though, it, uh, it has that heavy intro, but the rest of the song is pretty melodic, except for the bridge. The bridge gets really dark, really dynamic. It's such a cool mood change. and It's, it's got some of the coolest drums on the whole album, too. It's like, I can just imagine that being so fun to play. I know that, I think they've, they've talked about that, too. So, um, this is just a really uh, dynamic song in terms of heavy versus uh, heavy versus melodic, and um, but this song pulls it off a bit better than uh, some of the songs on All I Was did, which is great. Then you get into Fall Again. Fall Again has uh, definitely one of the weirdest intros off the whole album. It's got like a, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's got this sort of weird sound effect. And, um, it almost sounds like strings. I don't really know how to describe that, but uh, I really like it actually. It's really dark, and then uh, the more lighthearted guitars kick in, and um, but then you get into that main riff though, similar to Flying Monkeys. It's a bit on the slower side as far as tempo goes, but um, it's a great riff. I just love it. It's like it's so. It reminds me of a, it reminds me of the Alter Bridge song "Save Me." I think there's a that those riffs are a bit similar, but I think this one's a bit better. I just I think this riff just like it's so it's got like that dramatic like feeling to it which I really like, um, and then Tremonti's vocals in the chorus one of his best performances on the whole album he goes he gets really high up there, which is awesome. And then uh, the verses sort of um, maintain that like that sort of dramatic but also emotional feel the whole time, and then um, you get another cool solo in there which is great. And then uh yeah this is a Another one of the more, it's straightforward, but in a different kind of way. Not like in that radio single kind of way, but straightforward is in like, not many parts, if you know what I mean. But uh, at the same time, this is a really like, it's definitely one of the moodiest songs on the whole album, which I really like. That that main riff, I just love. That's one of my favorite riffs on the whole album. I love because I think it's just so moody. It's so like, gut-wrenching. I just love it. Then we get into Tie the Noose, another one of the heavier ones on the album, another one of the more thrashy ones. Um, it's been a little while since we got one of those. Uh, I think the last one I could say that about was Arm Yourself, but um, which is track four and this is track eight. So um, it's good to bring back that sound a bit one last time because the next two songs are a bit slower. But um, yeah, this is this is another one of the more straightforward heavy ones and uh, a bit like Arm Yourself in terms of uh, it sort of stays heavy the whole time. Um, it doesn't really diversify too much. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is just a, another really straightforward, like, heavy, heavy, thrashy song, which which I really like. Uh, I really like Tremonti's vocals in the chorus, uh, similar to Fall Again. I think he really gets up high up there in his range, which um, which is great. I think he uh, really sort of struts his stuff as a vocalist on this album a bit more than he can with Alter Bridge. Um, and, yeah, that's just, it's really cool. And uh, this is one of the best... His best vocal performance in the whole album, definitely. And um, this song also gives a great, um, another great example of the rhythm section shining, which I think Tremonti does really well. And uh, because I think a lot of bands sort of think of the vocalist as like the main part of the whole group. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I feel like when bands like you know create their music all around the vocals, and it doesn't end up being it, the, then the the music itself ends up being generic. I think uh, I think Five Finger Death Punch suffers from that a lot. Um, I think Breaking Benjamin can suffer from that too. Hailstorm suffers from that, in my opinion. So when you got this like this larger than life vocalist, who like it's it's more like it's sort of obvious that they they are the band, if you know what I mean. Then uh, the music tends to be written around the vocals, and uh, I just I don't think that's I don't think that's right. I think the vocals should be that extra layer that goes on top of the music, which is already great, and um. I think that Tremonti does that really well. I think that the rhythm section just really shines on this song and on Tremonti's music in general, which is great. Then we get to Sympathy. Sympathy is uh, immediately one of the more light-hearted ones on the on the album. Um, it's uh, it's definitely classic Tremonti, something you'd hear from Creator Alter Bridge, definitely. Um, it's, it's a bit straightforward, again, in terms of... Um, like there's not there's not really many parts to it. Uh, it's definitely on the radio friendly side. Um, it's it's a good song, but it's like it's just a bit like 
it's like that radio rock song that you'd expect to hear on Tremonti's album, which uh, which which isn't it isn't a bad thing. Like I said, you're expecting to hear it, so like I mean that would be the really the only downside to it. But he does pull this song off really well. Um, he has some really emotional vocal parts on the song, and uh, the guitars it just um they really just make you they, they really do transfer that happy feeling to you, which uh, which I really like, and I think songs like this really do help in an album and i think they do here especially because pretty much the whole album up until now has been pretty dark besides like a few parts like i'd say really the only songs that haven't been all dark would be cauterize and another heart and um they still had some pretty dark moments in there so i think this is really the first song that really is like a beacon of light which uh, which i really like so bring it to the final track which is provenance um immediately you look at the length of the song and you know this is going to be an epic one um alter one thing alter bridge does really well is they they have these like so, such like dramatic epic closers not even closers all the time like the song blackbird the song the title track off fortress uh words darker than their wings off ab3 they have these like such epic songs and this and providence definitely fits into that catalog it's got so much um, it just got so much going on. It starts off a bit. Um, it starts off a bit more mellow, and then it kicks in. Um, fasting forward a year later, this uh, this really sounds like something that I would hear off the last Hero album, which came out over a year after this. So um, I feel like this can be on that album, which I really like. Um, because I I actually really like that album. I think that's one of Ultra Bridge's best albums. Um, but this song as a whole, it's just really epic. It's got so many different parts to it. Um, the chorus has such an epic, dramatic, um, like climactic um, feeling to it. And then you get into this bridge where it changes up the time signature. It goes for, it has one measure of five eight and one. It, no, it has three three of five eight and one of six eight. I love that. I that that just I just love that. I love when bands do that. That just that just made me happy. You know what I mean? I, I love on time signatures. What can I say? And Shimanti doesn't do that much of it, but he like when he does do it, it's just so awesome. I just I just love it. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, it's this song is just it's just so epic, so much to offer, and um, yep, that's the album. Um, Cauterize. I would wait a twenty-eight out of thirty. Um, I do think it's their best album. Um, it's it's just so dark, so so diverse, um, w much more diverse than than all I was was. I think all it was a bit of it sort of blended together, but I feel like a lot of these, all the songs on this album just like separate from each other. You got Radical Change, which is like this fun, uplifting, thrashy song. You got Flying Monkeys, that sludgy, slow, heavy, dark badass song you got cauterize which is like this it starts off heavy and then it's like it's melodic the whole song it's got such a like con such a cool contrast there then arm yourself which is just straight up heavy thrashiness the whole song with like a really cool moody bridge you got dark trip which takes that moody or bridge sound from arm yourself and just applies that to the whole song another heart you got your radio rock single here Fall Again, another one of the, like, a, a bit of a slower, more moodier, but also, um, also heavy song, Tie the Noose, a bit more straight, like a straightforward metal song there, classic heavy metal song right there, in my opinion, Sympathy, one of the more lighthearted radio rock tunes right there, and then Providence, just this epic closer. Like, there's just so much, like, diversity there, I just, I really like that in an album, and they pulled it off really well here. So, yep, yeah, uh, that's part two of my Tremonti discography review. Um, if you like what you saw, um, please go back and watch my review of All I Was, or uh, stay tuned if you're watching right as it comes out, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have uh, Dust uploaded very shortly. Um, or, of course, if you're watching later, please watch my review of Dust, watch my review of A Dying Machine, which I'll be doing as soon as the album comes out. I'm very excited for that. And, um, all right, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.